so long as it doesn't give up my rights. Now, if it gives up my rights, I'm going to educate them, all right? But as long as their rules help me, I'm going to use their rules. I'll apply them. And so they think the 14th Amendment is valid, so do I, okay? And I'll use their own words against them. So the 14th Amendment says that you have to be born or naturalized and subject. Well, I'm not subject. That's what they believe in, and they believe in that word subject. And I'm telling them, I'm not subject. I'm over here, over on the preamble. Okay. So, again, if you don't want to argue a point, don't bring it up. You can develop a whole case on whether or not the 14th Amendment is valid. For what? <laughs> you know? It doesn't apply to me anyway. Well, I'll let them have it valid. Sure, it's fine. It's valid. Okay. It doesn't apply to me because I'm over there as, as a people and I, I choose not to volunteer into citizenship, not for that purpose. You can be a citizen for some purposes and not a citizen for other purposes. Okay. You're subject to the jurisdiction. Well, so I guess that's an adverb. Isn't it? Well, if you subject yourself to the jurisdiction, then you're granting them the authority. Okay. You're the source. The requirements for citizenship are that you have to be born or naturalized and subject to the jurisdiction. If you're not subject to the jurisdiction, then you're not a citizen. And so, and it's, it's your choice. This is a free will choice that you can make. And of course, they schnooker you into making the choice they want you to make by simply regulating the education that they give you when you're in the public schools. Okay, they don't teach you the words of freedom. They teach you the words that subject you, that put you into their jurisdiction. So they don't teach you, they don't, they, they, all you ever hear when you're, you're in the school area is you hear about uh, being a good citizen. You hear about being a resident. You hear the word resident used all over the place. How often do you hear the word domiciled, okay? But the word domicile is the one that gives you the freedom. All right. Then you have uh, uh, another interesting thing is, is that um, you'll notice that in all the public schools, you have to register. <clears throat> Your children are registered into the school. Instead, of, they used to say enrolled. <clears throat> now they say registered. What's the difference? Well, registration, <clears throat> excuse me. Registration is when you register something that came from the outside the jurisdiction. Enrollment, you already belong in the jurisdiction. We're just putting you on the list. But registration is when you're outside. You ever heard of a ship's registry? Well, the ship is registered outside the jurisdiction. Okay? Ships go into other jurisdictions, so they have to register. So, um, when you enroll, you're from here, the jurisdiction that you're enrolling in. That's why they say registration in school now instead of enrollment. And, and of course, the people are not well educated, so they uh, sometimes mix these words. I didn't say that. I said it the other way around. If you are subject to the jurisdiction and if you are born here, then you are a citizen. Was he part of the was he part of the prosecution? Yeah. Okay, he prosecuted. Asked her you want to know if she was a citizen. You'll notice that on the um, on the uh, criminal papers, the charges or whatever it is that they generate in the, in the uh, uh, district attorney's office, you'll see that they'll put your social security number and your uh, driver's license number on there. Okay, why? Well, that's proof you're a citizen. Okay, prima facie proof, by the way, which means that you can upset that assumption. They'll make the assumption until you counter it. Okay, with your counterclaim. Okay, we'll get to that. That that's part three. Okay, so I just want to be aware of the difference between people's rights and citizens' rights. Now, I went to a book. This book is published by the Senate of the United States. They, the Senate gives a free copy of this book to every senator, every congressman, and 
to the vice president. Why doesn't the president get one? Yeah, the, the, the president's in the executive branch. The vice president is part of the Senate. He's the president of the Senate. And so he gets a copy. Now, this book is called The Constitution of the United States of America, Analysis and Interpretation. Okay? And that's a very interesting book. It's got some 3,000 pages almost. And if you go to... Um, the book which is called Senate Document 99-16 on page 956 and 957 footnote 12, <laughs> you will see a list of the privileges uh, that are available to citizens. Okay? So for example, the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights is available, religion, speech, press, assembly, and petition. The Second Amendment is not available to US citizens. Quartering of troops, there's no cases, but they decided to throw it over on that side anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, grand jury indictment, you're not entitled to a grand jury indictment. You're not entitled to a jury trial in civil cases if you are a citizen of the United States. And you're not entitled to, to bail necessarily. And you're not entitled to protection against excessive fines or equal protection. Okay. All of those are not available to the U.S. citizens. That's the, the second, third, fifth, seventh, and eighth amendments, the Bill of Rights. Uh, on the other hand, they have legislated that you are entitled to the First Amendment, uh, Fourth Amendment protections, uh, Fifth Amendment uh, double jeopardy, self-incrimination, and just compensation. You, you, and the Sixth Amendment protection uh, has been so much diluted, but the Sixth Amendment, you are still uh, legislatively entitled, entitled to speedy trial, public trial, jury trial, impartial jury, notice of charges, compulsory process to get witnesses in, and, and a right to counsel. And you are entitled to uh, protection against uh, cruel and unusual punishment. So that's the list right there. It's right in the Senate book. Okay, I love that book. It tells the truth. Now, it isn't that they, they don't want it. It isn't that they don't want to lie. Yes. Well, every once in a while, they, they publish this book, okay? I think the first one was published back around 1910 or something like that. And it comes out every so often. Uh, there's been as few as, as, I think, three years between publishings, and there's been as many as 25 years between publishings. But every once in a while, they come out with it, a revised edition. And it, it basically brings in new court cases and that have affected and so forth. It's a very good book, actually. And, uh, but if you lay down, and I've done this, I've taken a very old copy with a very new copy, and I put them side by side, and you can see that the language that they use, they don't change the concepts. But what they do change is the wording to describe the concepts, and the newer books make it easier to misinterpret. The older books were clear, were more clear, okay? And, yeah, obfuscation. And you'll also notice that in the old books, if you look in the index, there's almost a full page of references to the common law. And in the newer books, there's zero reference to the common law. It's still in there, by the way, the common law. If you know where to find it, it's still there. Now, the beauty of it is this, is that this book I've got on the website, okay, and you can search it, <laughs> okay? There is a search engine on the website, so you can look up stuff, and it will lead you to that book, okay? So that's kind of neat. Bill, how often is that book updated? Well, like I said, I just said three years one time, another time is 25 years went by. You know, it depends on what the urgency is. <clears throat> now let's get into sovereignty, okay? It's very important to be sovereign, okay? If you're not sovereign and you decide to be a citizen, this is how you might end up. Okay? <laughs> So, <laughs> I don't think you want to be like this. So, I, I suggest you be sovereign. It's a lot more fun. 
lot more enjoyable.